Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryder Matalo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, just to let you guys know I'm very sorry that I have not uploaded any videos these last two days. It's just that, that I did not have anything coming up towards the situation, okay guys? So right now I have got a request from you guys that you guys want me to install this mod. So this mod is called the Benny's Original Motorworks in Single Player. So what you guys have been telling me that it's been a long time that you guys been trying to install this but it does not work some people say that this mod crashes their game some people say that this mod is laggy some people say that every time when they get into the garage they fall down the map and some people say that the garage door does not open so i am here to help you guys to fix that situation so all you guys got to do is make sure you download all the requirements inside my description below and make sure that they are all the latest version. Make sure you download nativeui.dll version 1.8 as well. I will leave that inside my description below. Once you guys have completed that, then download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now guys, just let you guys know that I'm going to start this mod and this tutorial inside a clean Grand Theft Auto V folder. So all you guys got to do next is download the mod and then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you guys can see, this is a complete clean folder. There's no mods in here. So I do highly recommend you installing this mod inside a clean folder the reason for that guys because other mods does affect the mod to work okay guys so if you guys do follow the tutorial and if it doesn't work then there is a mod that is inside your folder that's affecting this mod to work okay guys so make sure you guys do test it inside a clean folder like what I got here guys see I got multiple Grand Theft Auto V folders to test, okay? So make sure you guys do have multiple Grand Theft Auto V folders, okay guys? So let's get straight into it guys, okay? Before you guys install the requirements, we need to connect our Grand Theft Auto V game folder into OpenIV. If you guys are starting this tutorial inside a clean folder, then follow these steps. All you guys gotta do is step one, Open up your Open IV. Then I go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Wait for a few seconds. It depends on your PC performance. And then now go over to your tools. Go to ASI Manager. And then now go to ASI Loader and then install ASI Loader. And then install OpenIV.ASI. And then select Yes. And then install open camera close your application and close your open iv now we have installed our open iv inside our game folder now we are going to install our requirements now guys like always make sure you download okay all the requirements that is inside my description and make sure they are all the latest version Open up your script hook V extract folder and then go into your bin folder and now select input 8.dll and script hook V.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just replace your files. Open up your script hook V.net extract folder and select scuthogv.net.asi.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder 
Now guys, we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer V extract folder and select trainer V.ASI and .ini. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Open up your Minio extract folder and select the Minio stuff folder in Minio.ASI. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now guys, this is optional. You can download it if you want to, but it's totally up to you. This will be inside my downloads. So make sure you download Matte Reveal and Open Interiors. So once you guys have downloaded Matte Reveal and Open Interiors, open up your Matte Reveal and Open Interiors extract folder. Now copy all three files inside your extract folder and now drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now guys, we have finished with that. All you guys gotta do is right click on your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and refresh your folder. And right click again and create a new folder and name that folder Scripts. Make sure you guys spell the Scripts word right. Sometimes people only spell it with S, C, R, I, P, T, and that's it. Make sure you guys have the S at the end, okay? Press enter once, press enter again. Now, open up your native UI extract folder, and now select your native UI.dll file, and drag it into your scripts folder. Now make sure it is version 1.8, okay guys? So to check your version, all you gotta do is right click on your native UI.dll file and then go to properties, then go to details and it will say that over here in file version 1.8. Now we have installed all our requirements. Now what we're gonna do guys is that we are going to install the mod. Open up your SPB extract folder. Wait for a few seconds and now exit out of this application. Drag your extract folder onto the side a bit. Now we are going to install the mod. Go inside your install folder. Open up your scripts folder. Now select everything inside the scripts folder and drag it into your Grand Theft Auto V scripts folder. Now, close down your extract folder. Now guys, all you gotta do now next is, go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click on your main folder, refresh your main folder, exit out of your game folder, and then refresh your desktop guys, and then I'll see you in the game. Now guys, here we are. Just to let you guys know, okay, that if you do fall into a glitch like this, okay, don't worry. Just walk out of the apartment and walk back in, and now it's fixed, okay guys? So don't worry about the glitch. It will always happen like that, okay? So we're here with Franklin, okay guys, and I'm going to show you guys the map that it is on the map, okay guys? So as you guys can see, it is appearing on the map. Okay, see guys, it's right there. Now what we're gonna do is that we're going to go and test this mod and see if this mod is working. Okay, now go to your teleporting and waypoint. Now guys, what we are going to do is that we're gonna go and test this mod to see if it can go through the garage. Just all you gotta do now guys is just, just drive, just keep driving and then slowly, okay, don't go to that door, go to the last door. Just slide, see guys, it opens by itself. And there you go. 
So guys, it does work, see guys, it's working very, very, very neat and nice and tidy. And now, yeah, so what I'm going to do guys, okay, is that I'm going to go and uh, print up this car so you guys can see it works. So guys, I'm going to speed through this um, tutorial and you guys can see the car. And now guys, this is my car. So yeah, well guys, um... Uh, I didn't really um, do it up properly, but I just only done it fast, okay guys? So, uh, so the video won't go long and long and long. But this is what the car looks like, guys, okay? And, yeah, so, yeah, the Benny's does work, guys, okay? If you guys know what, what you're doing. But I don't know the keys to the hydraulics, but I forgot. So, guys, I hope you guys do like this video, okay, guys? And just to let you guys know, okay, a few things, okay, is that... Make sure you download all the requirements inside my description below and make sure they are all the latest version, okay? And number two, make sure you download nativeui.dll version 1.8. And number three, make sure it's not a free game, okay? Make sure your game version is version 1.46. These mods will not work on a free download game, okay? So make sure you buy the game. Don't download a game for free, guys, okay? Because most games does not work, okay? When you damn download a free game, okay, guys, okay? So make sure you guys download everything inside my description. Make sure everything is the latest version. And make sure you got the native UI.dll and make sure that you're not using a free download game, okay? And make sure your game version is version 1.46, okay, guys? So, guys, I hope that this tutorial does help you. If you guys are still stuck with this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. So, guys, with that all said, I hope you guys do like this video. If you guys did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Peace and I'm out.